Welcome to episode number two of the uh, Hector Restoration vlog thing with Garage Coventry. A um, little progress update for you guys. Uh, it's a slightly brisk March day in 2019 now, and work on the Mercedes has been sort of slow for a while. We, uh, we attacked him really hard when we first got the car back from picking it up, up in, uh, up near Michigan, basically. Um, and we got straight to work doing things like, uh, like ripping the interior out, um, taking the dash pad off, getting the headliner out, getting the seats and stuff out. Please excuse the tools. Um, and Mindy set to work doing stuff like it attacking the seats, getting them cleaned up to see what we had um, while I continue to disassemble some of the interior. Um, it's a little more complex than it may seem. Like, the seat rails kind of sucked. Um, the dash, the actual metal support up there does not come out, so everything's sort of mounted up underneath and behind, so you got to be on your back on the floor, you know, sort of cursing, and underneath all the wiring and the heater and everything. Yeah, it's, uh, it's fun. Um, but we did things like we took the headlights out, we uh, got the, you know, the grill off, some of the trim on the driver's side's been taken off, so the trim up front, like the corner markers, stuff like that's been taken off, um, windshield wiper motor, distributor, um, think we might restore that since we're just restoring them, but sort of here and there, we're going to upgrade stuff to more modern you know equivalents so so to make driving the car a little bit more civil and a li little bit better in 2019 um well not in 2019 2020 I, I hope we're done that soon i would like to think we will be um one of the last things we got done is we took the driver's side window and quarter window out which required a bit more work than we had anticipated. Uh, but it was our first time doing it, so we sort of had to figure out how stuff came out and the correct way to do it by not breaking it, things of that nature. Um, but we'd just been slowly disassembling him. Because of the slow progress of my RX-7 is the reason why we're still waiting on getting him done. Um, you really won't see much video of this. I don't know if I'm ever going to share anything about it. It's just a little personal project of mine. Got to fix the rust on it, put the interior back in it, rebuild the engine, stuff like that. Used to be my daily for a while. Um, probably just going to keep it relatively stock, but, you know, besides that, we'll go back to the Mercedes. Um, we just got to continue disassembling him once, like I said, once we get the RX-7 back together. And then uh, we'll go from there. Until next time, guys.